everyone's like, Todd's the man, Todd's so cool. No, his technical game is a fucking disaster. He massively overcomplicates. I have lots of his students come to me after, they're like, hey, I didn't get any lays, I didn't get any results after spending a bunch of money with Todd. Okay, this is what I hear about most coaches in the scene. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about why cold reading is stupid, okay? Many of you probably don't know what cold reading is and we will cover that and talk about how coaches are advocating this technique and why it's so terrible and such a huge turnoff to women. Okay, but before we continue, please like and subscribe. Um, new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Turn on the notification bell to be alerted of those new videos. So, what is a cold read? A cold read is typically used as an opener, okay? And you go forward and, and say to a girl like, hey, you look like a Sarah. Hey, you look like you're from New Hampshire. Okay, it, it, it's like, they call it a cold read, because it's like, you're just like guessing something about the girl cold, okay, without her telling you anything about herself. This is tacky, cheesy, corny, stupid. Okay, and girls fucking hate it. I've talked to lots of hot girls about this. As soon as you say something like that, they're just like, ugh. You look like the kind of girl that likes pizza. You know, stupid shit like that. Don't ever say fancy, gimmicky, cheesy openers or verbals of any sort, okay? Now, you may be thinking like, why would anyone say that? That sounds really dumb, okay? Who pushes cold reading very heavily? Todd V, okay, Todd V dating. I'm gonna make a whole video about all the different technical problems with his game. This is one of them, of many, 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 okay? Everyone's like, Todd's the man, Todd's so cool. No, his technical game is a fucking disaster. He massively overcomplicates. I have lots of his students come to me after, they're like, hey, I didn't get any lays, I didn't get any results after spending a bunch of money with Todd, okay? This is what I hear about most coaches in the scene. Okay, surgical pickup also pushes cold reading, okay? Which is fucking stupid. It's very, very stupid. Attractive girls do not want you to say, you look like your favorite color is this. You look like your name is this. You look like you're from here or that you like to do this or whatever. You look like the kind of girl that uh, blah, blah, blah. And the girl's always like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh, I just get the impression that you like this. Ha, ha, ha. Right? It's the same thing as, as walking up and saying like, oh, you look like my, my next ex-wife. Or It's just cheesy, tacky, cringe, stupid. Okay? You don't want to open with stuff like that. The correct way to open is very simple, okay? It's just to be direct and lower the, com lower the compliance threshold so that she doesn't feel like she's going to need to have, to have a long conversation. Okay, so the correct way to open, the opener that I've been using for almost 10 years is just to say, hi, I wanted to meet you real quick. I'm John, what's your name? Okay, hi, I wanted to meet you, I'm John. What's your name? Oh, cool. Or I say, hi, can I meet you real quick? I'm John. But I always just say, I wanted to meet you, or can I meet you? And then I say, I'm John, what's your name? Or I wanted to meet you, what's your name? Oh cool, I'm John. That's it, okay? You don't need to go in and say, you look like a Sarah, you look like you're from, uh, you know, California. It's just stupid, okay? You don't need to be uh, pretending to be a psychic when you go in, okay, and, and converse with a girl. They're gonna think that that's a pickup line, they're gonna think that you're stupid and you're, you're just trying to sound cool. They're gonna think that it's tacky and cringe, okay? And speaking of tacky and cringe, that's most openers that I hear in the pickup community fall into that bucket, okay? Guys are either saying like canned routine things that are weird or they're, you know, I, I heard, I've heard all kinds of crazy stuff, okay? I had a, a hot girlfriend in San Diego in 2015 and there was a student that came out of RST free tour and when they're released on the streets, on the masses, and I was like talking to guys, getting clients, and a guy came up to my girlfriend at the time, and he's like, you're looking at your socks. You must like socks. And she's like, what? He's like, do you like socks? You're looking at socks. And it's just stupid, right? Like, most of these coaches have turned you guys into weirdos, okay? Like, a cool, like imagine like your stereotypical, cool, high value guy, okay? And then imagine it, or, or just think of like a celebrity that everybody knows, that even if he's not alpha and confident and cool in real life, the characters he plays, like Leonardo DiCaprio or, you know, Sean Penn or, or something like this, he's not gonna walk up to a girl 
and say like, oh, you look like a Sally. Or hey, uh, do you like socks? I see you looking at your socks. It's just like whatever perceived value you have is just gonna nosedive into the ground. Okay, the girl's not gonna be like, oh yeah, like you noticed I like socks? Like, yeah, like that's a really cool observation. Oh, and you guessed my name was Sally. It's actually not Sally, but good guess, right? Like how, it, I don't even know how guys expect these things to go, but coaches, <laughs> coaches like Todd and, and Surgical Pickup, they're teaching you that's cool. That's like gonna gain you points. That's, that's like a, a good strategy. But no, it's fucking stupid. Stop doing that. It's extremely cringe. Okay, and I'll go through all the other stupid cringe stuff that's being taught. There's endless amount of things to cover. Okay, but from now on, you can just use my opener. Okay, unless you're in my city, I'm currently living in Brazil in Florianopolis. But it was funny because in, in San Diego, I went up to a girl one night after I had taught a whole bunch of clients there and given talks and all this stuff. I said to a girl like, hey, I want to meet you real quick. What's your name? And she's like, I've heard that like five times tonight. And it's not like a line. You're just being direct that you want to meet the person. But it had gotten burned basically in San Diego because I've been living there for about a year and a half. And a lot of guys were just copying it. But just use that. It works very, very well. You can use it during the daytime and at nighttime. You don't have to ever think of another opener. The only other type of opener that I use is if the girl's tall, I'll say like, oh, you're really tall. How tall are you? Or, and I'll make jokes how I'm how she looks almost taller than me and then she shows me that she's wearing heels, etc, etc. Or I'll make some appearance comment. Something about her tattoo, something about her outfit, etc. Which is usually how I tend to open during day game, okay? But that's it. You don't need to do fancy, gimmicky, cheesy stuff. And if you do have fancy, gimmicky, cheesy verbals as part of your opener or part of any of your verbals, get rid of that stuff ASAP, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. New videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.